Many thanks for keeping us company. And if you just tuned in, this is why to fight for Sports Friday. Before we took that break, we had talked about the plans the Nairobi County government is having in regards to sports and talent nurturing. And now we want to look at uh, matters abroad. Jose Mourinho's sacking and the UEFA Champions League round of 16. We want to know who will win this cup. Joining me in studio is Triza Munyeki from my far end, followed by Salim Waziri. Uh, we get to business, you know, when it's Friday, it's all about sports. Lady and gentlemen, good to see you. Good to see Always you too. Salim, you should say that way. Yeah, yeah. 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 I disappeared a little bit because they share my cool bear. They share. Nah, I, kn I knew that. Now, I'm back in Liverpool. Oh, Liverpool. 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 But tonight might be their night of mm -hmm. losing against Wolves. It might be mild. Yes, I'm very certain. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Manchester United, oh, we had a privilege with but, uh, with Teresa mm -hmm. uh, that Sunday. Yeah. Was it Sunday? Yes. Yeah, it was on Sunday. We were like, okay. Dakaza Kwanza Tano. Actually, I ended up kumia kidogo because when Cause. I got home, I was like, gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, watch game happy. How was it? Uh, I think uh, uh, Liverpool on the, on the evening, they reigned supreme because 36 shots on target, that has got to speak volumes. But then again, it's the way Mourinho set up his team because when, you, when you're going against a team that keeps the ball so well and re, uh, regains it back so well. You must have a master master plan kind of. So because on that day, I think for me, if I was the coach, I would have started Pogba and Fred in the midfield and then Herrera will sit. Mm -hmm. But then again, he played a sluggish midfield. They were too slow. For me, Matic is too slow. And then again, the, the service to Lukaku was cut off completely because when, when you have midfielders who give the ball away to a team like Liverpool, Trust you me, all day every day will be ripped apart and that's what happened. And then I think for me, Liverpool was strong in every single department. Mm -hmm. All right, Teresa, 3-4-3 three, three, uh, formation. Do you think Mourinho made a mistake by giving uh, or setting us up with three defenders? <laughs> that was indeed a challenge. I mean, we were watching the match as it is starting and we were like, do they know who Liverpool is? Mm -hmm. And Liverpool took advantage of that whole setup and of course, as you watch the match, you would tell they are the stronger team, they're the better team. So the win was well deserved. And now, Don Salim, uh, I remember two weeks ago you had said if things go the way they're going, Mourinho will go, and now he's gone. Now, uh, Kenyans will come to kill me someday. <laughs> now that this man is called Ole Gunnar, or whatever yeah. it is, now that it has a knowledge, <laughs> Yeah. Do you think with a few matches remaining, this man will change things? Yeah, because I think uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has played in the in the Ferguson regime. He's a, he's, 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 a, he's, he's a Ferguson made boy through and through. So I think whatever he's going to imp, uh, to implement uh, in the in the tomorrow's match or Sunday's match against Cardiff is one or less uh, uh, going to be the same way Ferguson used to set up his team. But then I think Mourinho is just sitting on a time bomb. And, and I said here, I think, a couple of weeks ago that it's, it's not a matter of if, it's only a, a question of when. And that happened because I think against, he never lost the job against Liverpool. I think he lost the game against Valencia because against Valencia, that is a game that Manchester United are supposed to win comfortably and they were just dismantled to nil at the Mestala Stadium in Spain. So I think for me, Mourinho, again, 17 games in Hillary, and he failed completely to get a first 11. That is what even asks, asked him more, because if, if, if you want to win matches, you have to have a, st a stable team. And then when the players are going home to sleep, they know they're in that first 11 because of their performance. And I think that's where completely where Mourinho got it wrong. And I think him getting fired was, was just a matter of time. And, and I think, again, the, the, the right brothers at the helm of the Manchester United team just got tired. The, the patience in them just ran out. Uh, Teresa, Mourinho having come from Chelsea and then to Manu and for those two teams he has been sacked. Uh, do you think Manchester United made a, a good decision like Chelsea did? 
I believe it was a good decision. I mean, always when there is a change, there is hope that the team will go, is going to improve. But again, I have a concern about this Oleguna because looking as, at his track record as Cardiff City manager, that is in 2014, he led the team to uh, relegation. So maybe as a player for a former player for Manu, uh, he was a good performer. But as a manager, I don't know. We are yet to see. We'll be now moving to UEFA, knowing that Manchester United is playing PSG. We don't, I don't know. What